Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Team Fight Manager, another episode of my Let's Play series. Uh, in the last episode, we lost in the finals, but because it was the finals, it means we get promoted. So no more semi-pro league, we'll be going to Pro League Division 2, which will likely be tough with the squad we have. We don't have great stats, we don't have great traits, so it could be tough. We'll see. Let's see what we got for equipment here. I think this is our mouse that we won. One attack, one percent attack speed. I'll stick with the four attack, I think. I do like attack speed. I do value it more than base attack, but not to that degree. So I think we have the event matches, whatever, coming up. Yeah, so this is uh, no assassins. Uh, that was the, the theme I chose in the last episode. I chose no assassins. We'll see if I regret that. I think it'll be fine. I think that... It'll be interesting because there's so many assassins prevalent in the meta right now that not having assassins will, will make it more interesting for sure. So what I'm trying to think of what will be prevalent. Cook is going to be really good. Might have to ban and or first pick Cook because it's going to be really strong with no assassins. Shrine Maiden will be better. You know, Pyro will be better. A lot of stuff's going to be better with no assassins. All right, so here's the training report. Mission got a little bit better. Inspired got better. Mostly just mission. But, I mean, some of these these people don't level up well. These people do. But I'm not using them that often, so that's part of the problem. All right, so we got new equipment here. Let's see what we got. Something good, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Something we already had. Um, I'm okay spending 50 bucks for another piece, for another shot at an upgrade. All right, so we got... Creative Crocodile. So this is, well, this is going on. The actual World Championships is going on, right? So this is an interesting thing. They added this in like one of the more recent patches, probably their last patch, their last content patch at least, where you have these event matches instead of just doing nothing while Worlds happens. So it's interesting. I like it. All right. So let's see what we can do here. So, hmm. Just trying to think with no assassins. Is there anybody that I want to take out? You know what? I'm going to take you out because you're in poor condition. I know I'm losing a bunch of stats, but that's fine. I want to have my healer in because I feel like healers are going to be way more prevalent with no assassins to, you know, be annoying. I feel like the AoE champions are going to be at a premium because with no assassins, it's going to be harder to... You're more likely to have more than one uh, frontliner, right? I feel like. So we don't have first picks. So we're going to ban Cook because I don't want him having Cook. And let's ban Plague Doctor. Because if he takes Shrine Maiden, then I think it'll be pretty good. Oh, sh I forgot all about the existence of Shadow Mancer. Oh, uh, God. That's not good. So let's go Shrine Maiden, Boomerang Hunter. Get some AoE. Okay, Gunner. Oh, it's me again, right. <laughs> Let's go, Pyro. Well, I got all kinds of AoE, but... Oh, oh yeah, I should have known. Oh, I'm going to lose the Shadow Mancer and Ogre. Well, I need a tank. Berserker it is. <laughs> I'm definitely not winning this. I will be shocked. Shocked if I win this. Honestly. I mean, you never know, right? Like, but Ogre Shadow Mancer is usually pretty strong. Usually a pretty strong combo. But hey, I came out ahead of that uh, that skirmish, but Ogre does get stronger. Or he gets tankier as the match goes on, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's starting to turn their way. Although this alt will help somewhat. No, that's, that's a pretty solid alt. Solid Berserker alt. All right, let's see if we can get some value out of the Shrine Maiden alt here. Yep, okay. Oh, good Boomerang Hunter alt. Those were just, those were good alts, of course. Okay, I had a good Pyro alt, but he had, he had a good Gunner alt. But I don't know. I don't think he's going to come back. I mean, he's going to make it closer. I'm not going to win by 12 kills, if I had to guess. Mostly just because of Shadow Mancer. But I don't think he's going to come back enough. These are one-game sets. Yeah, no, I was... Whoa, oh, he did come back. Get killed. Oh, my God. I was up by 12 kills. 12. 12. One more than 11. One less than 13. And I lost. 
Uh, Shadow Mancer Ogre OP. Well, I know what I'm banning next time. <laughs> right? Take that off the table. Oh, well. Well, we got $350. So, but you get twice as much if you win. Wait, so I got to play the same team again? Yeah, apparently. All right. <laughs> but now I know. Now I know what to do. I learned. Ban Shadowmancer. <laughs> and maybe Ogre as well. <laughs> Ugh. That was rough. All right, well, if I'm planning to first pick Cook, which I am, I'm thinking ban Shadowmancer and ban Dark Mage because it kind of counters Cook a little bit. And it's it's pretty good in the meta, period. I mean, I'd love to have it, but I feel like if I first pick Cook, he's going to take it. Now, if he bans Cook, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But he didn't, so we're going to take Cook. Because Cook is strong. I mean, it was nerfed, but... It basically nerfed back to what it starts as. Now, the AI loves that Poison Dart Hunter. But I have Cook. Cook will counter it somewhat. Let's grab Berserker now. I might grab Plague Doctor. I think Boomerang Hunter would be good to help kill this knight. Especially with the Shrine Maiden. But he doesn't have great damage right now. Is there going to be enough damage though? Yeah, it should be. Except Berserker's going to do a lot of damage in this combo. Okay, so even with no Shattermancer, he went Ogre. But this is a little less scary. He's pretty tanky, though. It This ultimately comes down to... Uh, and the Cook heals counter out the Poison Dart Hunter's damage over time. Poison, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's really all this comes down to. And how quick can he kill my Berserker? Of course, he's killing my Plague Doctor first instead. But that initial skirmish definitely went my way. And I would argue I have the better alts. So I'm feeling good here. Let's see if, let's see if we can not blow it late this time. Okay, we got to kill this ogre before it gets to here. Thank you. It's a little closer now. But still favoring me, I would say. Ooh, that's a... That's an okay boomerang hunter alt. It just, that alt made that ogre a lot tankier. <laughs> Because the ogre, every time you hit it, its max health goes up, right? So if you, like that boomerang hunter alt's like a slow damage over time, essentially, right? All right, so there's all his alts. Well, I'll accept the ogre. I don't think ogre has an alt, so it's got 119 extra health right now, right? Which was part of the problem last time we couldn't kill it late, where he was getting kills. This time we managed to kill it. All right. Yeah, I mean, Ogre is part of the problem, but Shadowmancer combined with Ogre was the problem last time. But I was right. Berserker did a lot of damage. Not as much as Boomerang Hunter. Cook healed for a lot. That's a lot of Cook heals. All right, so we get a little more experience this time. And we get $700, which is nice. Set of, three, set of 350 So I got all kinds of money right now. But I got to pay my team. So I'm not going to... I feel like I probably shouldn't do any investments. Ooh, smell of blood. I don't think I can recruit Nate now right now. Let's uh let's get another one. Low. Hmm. Yeah. I'm almost at the point where I need to start recruiting the next level. I mean it's nice to have a couple rising stars in the mix for long term, because um I think when they hit age twenty three, they stop improving and actually start getting worse. Right? So we'll put you in instead because you're in poor condition. So you don't want to have anybody at over 23. And I have a couple 21-year-olds now, right? I need to have people in place to replace them. But I'll probably be able to recruit some of the, the next tier. Uh, all right. So I have first pick. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to ban Shadow Mancer, Dark Mage, and, and first pick Cook is the plan. And I hope that they don't ban Cook. They ban Shrine Maiden. Okay. So now what are they what are they gonna do? Pyro, okay. So we're probably not gonna do a plague doctor this time. I'm gonna grab boomerang hunter because I wanna have some AoE as well. Yeah, they're they're going hard on the AoE. So go Berserker and Sniper. Sniper's a solid pick. Ice Mage. I was kinda thinking he might do that. And yeah, it would have been nice to grab Exorcist, but whatever. I think it'll be fine. Um put you there. 
Yeah, that should work, I think. I think this will be a win. Well, it depends on Cold Corpse. Cold Corpse is pretty tanky. It really depends on how quickly we can kill it. And hopefully the Boomerang Hunter doesn't die too much from Pyro's AoE. Or Poison Dart Hunter's AoE, for that matter. Just from AoE in general. But once that Cold Corpse alts, basically becomes... The next two times you kill it, it doesn't actually die. So during that part of the game, you know, if we have problems killing it quickly, you know, they'll come back. That was a nice sniper alt. Yeah, Boomerang, or Berserker, I wish he would have waited a bit. Not a great Berserker alt. Because he did it on the... He started on our side of the field, so he didn't really get there. And then he got CC'd by the Ice Mage. But I've got a pretty hefty lead. All right, well, there's the Cold Corpse alt, though. So now they're going to come back. But I think it's too late for them to come back from 13 kills down. It doesn't really matter if I kill the Cold Corpse or not. We just got to stay alive. And I have a cook, so I should be able to. So, so we killed the Cold Corpse there, but it doesn't actually count as a kill. Wow, that Pyro kept her all <laughs> really late. All right, so that's another $700. Yeah, these uh, event matches really add to your earning potential. And you can get a lot of extra money. Like, I'm thinking one of the things I'm going to do, I want to pay these guys out first, but I'm going to grab the strategy execution distance and then the strategy upgrade so that I can do them both. Or no, ooh, second sponsor slot. That will pay itself off relatively quickly. Or uh, veterans, yeah, okay. Well, it's much, even though I have a bunch of money, I could still, I could easily spend 10000 right now this off season, easily. Easily. Oh, well. All right, so we have we have a strategy now. So they have first pick this time. Part of me wants to let Cook through to see if they take it or not. Do I want to? I might. I might. If he doesn't ban it, I might let. I might let it through. But I'll. I'll make sure Dark Mage is still there so I can at least take that since it somewhat counters Cook. Right. Okay. So no Plague Doctor. Um, is there anything else I don't want the AI to have? Let's take Ogre as, uh, away as well. It's just annoying. Not Cook. Okay, so we're going to go Cook, and we're going to grab Dark Mage so that he can't take it. Okay, Cold Corpse is fine, so we're going to grab Boomerang Hunter to help kill the Cold Corpse. Okay, Pyro, that's fine. All right, so they are extremely tanky. <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't have a healer, because... These two are both hard to kill. But Boomerang Hunter should shine this game. In theory, right? Because it was AoE and there he's going to be hitting both of them all the time. So he should do a ton of damage. Oh wow, Dark Mage took a lot of damage there. I guess that's that Pyro AoE. Yeah, no, we, eh, no, we killed them in a decent amount of time. We did lose that skirmish though. That's the thing, he... He's tanky and he has damage from the other two. Right, but he doesn't have a cook. Hopefully the heals will... That's a good sniper ult. Not a good pyro ult, though. All right, and there's a coal corpse ult. Combined with the night ult, so it's going to be even harder to kill the coal corpse. Actually, we killed it all the times we needed to kill it already. And there's our berserker ult. Okay, beautiful. No, yeah, I think we got this. I think this is in the bag. Just a little too much for them. Yeah, we, I my alts were well timed to kill the cold corpse through its alt, like it just, it went it went down like, <laughs> like wet paper, right? That was good. Yeah, cook kept me alive pretty well. I only only had nine deaths. Ring hunter, eh? Solid game, but sort of dark mage, sort of berserker actually. I mean, they had their two damage dealers, but then these two didn't do as much, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was a big win. Another 700 and, uh, 700, yeah, just 700. Not 700 and anything. <laughs> wow, May got really better. So I'm glad I've been using her. She's gotten quite a bit better. I gotta get rid of this brittle body, though. But another use of $2,000 that I can't really afford to, to do right now, right? All right, what do we got here? We got some equipment. See what we got. Hopefully an upgrade. This is probably going to be the last piece of equipment we get for a while. 
Yeah. Boost cool down by 2%. I do like that. I'm going to equip that actually. And let's just put in everything that I have. It'll be three weeks. Sure. I'm okay with that. And one more. I think this is the last one of the event match, right? Yes. So we're three and one so far. Not that it really matters, but the more you win, the more money you get, right? And I'm all about that money right now. Because I have so many things that I need to uh, invest my money in at the moment. So many things. All right, so they have first pick. Mm, do I want to try the same thing I tried last time? Maybe I will. Maybe I will leave uh, leave Cook and hope they don't take it. What did he take first instead of Cook last time? I can't remember. Never mind. Cook's off the table. So we're going to ban Shadowmancer. And what? Ogre, Coal Corpse, Poison Dart Hunter, and Poison Dart Hunter. The AI is a pretty big fan of that. Knight, okay, so we're going to grab Boomerang Hunter and Dark Mage. Yeah, in case he wants to try to take Plague Doctor. Let's grab Berserker here. Ooh, do I take Shrine Maiden? My last pick if it's there. Or Pyro. For double AoEs into his double tank. Yeah, let's take Pyro. I mean, Shrine Maiden technically has an AoE as well, but... Pyro's been buffed. It's pretty good right now. So let's grab that. Uh, you can stay there. You can go there. Wait. Uh, that's not how I want it to be. <laughs> there. No. Oh, yeah. I have a cockroach. Okay. I don't I don't have my person with rage. I forgot that I benched them. I do not want you to have brittle body. <laughs> um, crap. All right. So let's try that. I don't really want you to have Brittle Body either. You can have Cockroach, actually. Oh, I forgot that I have a Cockroach. I should have got a healer. This is going to potentially be, go bad. Because he's going to almost die, and then he's going to run to the corner, and he's going to stay there the entire match. Oh, well, at least he fully died instead. <laughs> Ooh, that's a really good sniper ult. And then a pretty good gunner ult. Into a Cold Corpse and Knight combined ult. He is going to have a giant lead. Well, hopefully Berserker Alt can get me back in it, combined with a uh, Boomerang Hunter Alt. I'm in it. I'm still losing, though. Ooh, solid Pyro Alt. That might help. Yeah, no, it did. Okay, tie game. Ooh, and I still had Dark Mage Alt in my back pocket. So that could be good. Yeah, and actually, oh, no, there. I was going to say, Cockroach hasn't cost me the match yet. Now it is. <laughs> Although, oh, the Knight chased him down. That kind of works for me. What's overtime? No, it's not. We got this. Stay alive. Just stay alive, everybody. Stay alive, little cockroach. Oh, no. Overtime. No. Loss. Yeah. I should have taken Shrine Maiden with my last pick. Sniper feasted that time. Absolutely feasted. Oh, well. That's fine. We won more than we lost. We got some money out of it. That's the important thing. All right, so let's do a stream with mission, of course. The problem is, though, I'm at the point where I want to move on from mission. But they're my best streamer, right? I mean, I could get somebody else streamed up. But right now, let's let's try this one again. We keep trying this 50-50 one and failing. Oh, I think we got it that time. Well, slightly less than 50-50. But, I mean, ultimately, it's a coin flip. Try, let's go with the better rate this time. Beautiful. All right, so that, well, that event match was fun. That's better than just doing nothing while the world championships go on. I'm going to skip the ceremony because I don't care. I'm not, until I'm in the pro league, I don't care. Right? Ooh, we got Iron Buddy. Oh, oh I don't like competitive, though. Yeah. And love for Reds, you know, whatever. It's, it's okay. Iron body is nice. I don't like competitive though. Although, eh, it can be okay. 
It's not as bad as some of the other targeting type ones. Doesn't matter. It's not recruitment right now anyway. So <laughs> it's not relevant. Oh, it looks like we succeeded again. Beautiful. And one more for the road. Nice. And vacation. And end of season. And then, uh, do I really? Uh, I gotta cut. I gotta cut somebody off this list. I can't take everybody. Ooh, big patch. Okay, lightning mage, gambler. Some extra DPS options is always welcome. Archer buff, and eh, not really relevant. Vampire buff, definitely relevant. Necromancer buff, definitely relevant. I forgot that that had been nerfed. Oh my god, that plague doctor cooldown is like. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> um, oh, Ninja finally got nerfed. Needed it. Pyro nerf. Cold Corpse nerf. Taoist is not very good now. Exorcist kind of needed that nerf too. All right. It's going to be a very different meta next season. All right. So, see that's the thing. Mission. The mission's also cheap though, right? Um... Rage. Like, there's no point in taking them off, especially I'm going to be recruiting new people. Like, I get all these. Like, I love Gale, I love Mother Teresa, but I don't like Brittle Body and I don't like Cockroach. Right? So it's hard to justify keeping them. We'll keep Mission because she's cheap. Vander has my best overall stats. Um, I mean, I could switch a trait, but it's like 2,000 to do that, right? King of Best of Five is mediocre, though. Mr. Careful's Peter mediocre, so we're going to release Yum Yum. Keep everybody else. I'll have 4,500 left over. That'll be almost enough to get me a... Uh, second sponsor quest that's kind of like a does nothing for me now but will really help long term right god may is so may is the most expensive but if we can get this brittle body changed over for almost anything yeah we should be able to do a couple streams here to get uh get some extra money to be able to get the extra sponsor. I'm going to go with the extra sponsor. I'm going to go with the long-term planning, right? Because, I mean, we're going to play this until I, at the very least, until I win Worlds, right? And we're only in Pro League Division 2, so that means we got a bit of time to go, right? So we might as well, uh, might as well plan for the future. So we'll do one more set of streams here, and then we'll be able to get uh, the second sponsor quest, which long-term is great patch headset, whatever. We're not going to craft anything because we have no parts and I do not want to pay for parts right now. At all. Because the sponsor quest comes a couple of days into the off season, right? It doesn't, it's not on day one. Oh, and it, oh our stream uh, prizes went up too because we went up, up to a higher, because we're in Pro League Division 2 now. So there, there's our 5,000. So let's do, let's roll the dice here. Or, no, let's play it. Let's play it fully safe. You know, just guaranteed. Guaranteed money. Right? We'll roll the dice with the first one. We'll take the safer money with the second one. We could also probably grab a third stream per day. But every time you do that, you get a little less. So like I said, this is a long-term decision. This would be good. Ah. No, you know what? I'm going to go with the sponsor slot. Sponsor slot it is. All right, well, I want to recruit either of these people. I mean, he doesn't have any bad traits, right? But I mean, how many do I really want? I can't even afford it right now anyway. So, I mean, I can roll with this squad, I think, for now, right? For a little while longer, at least. And then eventually get... Uh, Get some veterans like at the mid or get a veteran maybe at mid season, possibly. 
It depends how we want to spend our money, I guess, right? All right, so let's roll the dice with the coin flip here. Well, what's this one? Oh, that's a lot of money. Let's try it. And it was a fail, but I think we still got like 100 out of that. Yep, exactly 100. <laughs> All right, so now we'll go with the safer option. Which looks like a succeed. So I could recruit one of those people now. I mean... I could grab this person and have them kind of replace mission because mission has smell of blood right we'll keep mission around to do uh streams yeah we're gonna recruit that we need we need a little bit more money then we're gonna recruit them yeah i think that's the way to go and then that'll be it for recruiting for a while i think maybe <laughs> we'll see oh he succeeded that's nice that's a bunch of money so yeah i need to start save money for some of these other things right let's go 80 percent chance success perfect that's what we needed all right so let's recruit you get you trained up wink wink and you'll miss it all right so they have smell of blood so let's grab say a mage we still don't have anybody with dark mage so maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky and get it there. I mean, smell of blood's basically good for almost anybody, real really, but better for for damaging damage characters, damage based characters, I would say. So what would you get for a stream, for example? Fifty one percent chance for two nineteen to two sixty five. Here's a fifty two percent chance. That's not that much more, but it is more. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. So we're trying to bleed out every dollar we can here. Eh, that doesn't help. Another coin flip. I was going to say, surely we won't fail twice in a row. Because, you know, that mindset is not called the gambler's fallacy. Definitely not. All right, so we should be picking our sponsor here soon. Oh, it's going to be scary. <laughs> we might lose a lot. Lightning Mage, Lightning Mage is fine. Lightning Mage is pretty good in its base state, which is what we'll be looking at right now. All right, here we go. We get two sponsors this time. Achieve at least 792 kills. We had 180, 845 last season. The reward's okay. Prevent our losing streak of at least three. And I can't commit to doing that because this is going to be a tougher league. 211 times, no, absolutely not taking that. 831 deaths and below. I think we could get that, but the reward's not very good. Win streak of eight, forget about it. 206 times yeah all right we haven't got any of the play x y or z champion yet which is what we usually do at least 15 wins not happening losing streak of at least two yikes cheek oh at least fourth okay well if i would have known these were going to be my sponsor quests i would not have spent the five grand on getting a second sponsor quest so let's get this once so we're gonna have to go well, wait, so which one's better reward? Uh, the, the the most kills or low deaths? Because you can't do both of these. Or you can, but because if we take this, we can go with aggressive high kill comps, right? Or we could go with this and go with defensive low kill total vote comps. But this has a better reward, so we're going to go with that. And um, 211 times no. Where's the one? I think, I, can I finish fourth? I don't know. 206 times. The finishing fourth is slightly better. Win streak of at least eight. I mean, that's the best reward, especially for parts. Look how many parts you get. But, and losing streak of two is, that's pretty hard to avoid. 15 wins, get out of here. Fourth place it is, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm not even going to get that, which is going to suck. Right, because I just spent five grand to get that extra slot, and now we're probably not even going to succeed. Oh well. All right, so let's do one more quick stream here, and that will do it for today's episode. I know there wasn't a lot of action. Well, there was a lot of action in the front half, and then a lot of off-season team management type stuff. And I mean, let me know in the comments. Like, should I be skipping the off-season stuff and just like summarizing it? Like, do it off camera? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. At any rate, 
hope you enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already but most importantly be good to each other have a great day and i'll see you in the next one